Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be installing Fedora 40 Everything. It's a net installer. It installs Workstation and any other type of Fedora thingy you want to install. I love my phrasing, don't you? So how are we going to do this? Well, we downloaded the ISO and now we're just going to run it through this virtual machine and hope for the best. So I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to go into boot options and hopefully we're also going to enable the boot menu. Uh, we're going to put that one up there first and hit apply. And then we're going to, uh, yeah, hit play and also log in. So starting boot options, install Fedora 40. It's going to boot up to its own little environment, which I need to make sure that we can see properly because we will be full screen. I have stretched this properly so it should look okay uh, you need to understand that it is extremely stretched okay now, i've never touched this before i've heard that it's the golden hidden gem and hit next and for you yep you're gonna hit done reclaim space delete everything done uh, we're going to get to this in a second. Let me just enable the root account. Or some people call it root. Because, you know, people are special. People that call it that, they make me laugh. And I can't take them seriously. I try. Alright, so this is what makes it special. A Fedora operating custom operating system. So it's the building blocks. Everything that you want and need is in here. So again, you can do a minimum install, server install, workstation, cloud, plasma workstation, XFCE, Bosch desktop. What the hell is that? And look at all the desktop environments. It's crazy. Workstation is, of course, GNOME. And of course, you got the base X stuff, the administration tools. We're going to install that. You can even install CompWiz. Look at that. We are going to install the development tools and the editors. And I believe that's all we really need. So we don't need any sound and video or security stuff. Interesting. We don't need any of the chat clients. Video land client. I believe that's VLC, right? You can hit done. And we're going to begin the installation. Okay. Create EFI, installing the software, downloading the packages. So this is where it differs. It downloads everything fresh. Instead of being stuck with an ISO that you have to install and then update, it downloads and installs everything and updates it as it installs, which is really cool. And look how fast it's going. Well, it's not really going that fast. But at least I got networking to work on Vert Miniature at all, which is just me a miracle for me. Because every other time I tried it, it did not function. Oh my. Now, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch this whole thing. Because it's going to take forever. Well, it's 97% done, 98. And I want to see what it does. Again, I've never run this installer before. So it's preparing transactions from installation source. So it's going to install all those RPMs. You know, wish we had a little console window that allows us to see what we're doing. That would be really cool. By the way, I want to mention what I'm still doing in my Discord, which is if I can ever click the right button to alt tab. Uh, I don't have Discord open, but what I'm doing is I'm making a collection of information for Linux. And that means there's a Linux general chat and there's Linux tips and tricks. Inside the Linux tips and tricks are a ton of ways to set certain things up. So installing Cache OS settings for Fedora, how to install the Cache OS kernel on Fedora, installing 555 drivers on Fedora, how to install the Cache OS kernel and settings on Arch Linux, and it goes on and on and on. Basically, it's a huge thing of uh, information for beginners to just jump in and learn how to use Fedora or Arch or anything else that, you know, really wants to go in there. And I put it together for that reason. 
you know, in case you didn't understand by video, you can jump in the Discord and be like, oh, hey, here's the thing. This is how it gets done. Uh, it really makes life easy. And it's made life easy for a few users so far. I am an encyclopedia of knowledge, someone said. It's kind of cool. So yeah, it's installing all of the RPMs. And because of my CPU speed, I did apply six cores to this thing, so it should be going really quick. There's also 16 gigs of RAM. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to see you on the desktop because I don't think it's going to do anything special. Okay, we're about to reboot and go. Kind of want to see what happens. Okay, starting boot options. Nope. Okay, I would need to disable the ISO, wouldn't I? Unless... Nope. How do you... I think it's F12. No. Troubleshooting. No. Ah, it was ESC. So, boot manager. Dora. And there it is. The newest kernel is already installed. God, this saves so much time. I don't think I'm ever, ever going to do this. Normally ever again. Because this is awesome. So let's change our resolution to 1440p if we can. Wait, can we not? No? All right, we're going to change it to 1080p. Yay, we're on a 1080p system. See this? And do we have all of our stuff that comes with normal Fedora? We do plus VLC. What does it say? Pseudo DNF install fast fetch. Fast fetch is installing. It just says Fedora 40 repos. I wonder what it would say. Does it say Fedora everything or is it just Fedora? Because if this works the way that I think it does. This is my new way of installing Fedora altogether and it should be yours because the workstation Iowa ISO is never really update unless they have major stuff to push. And it's just known as Fedora work. Oh my God, really? Look at that. It literally just installed Fedora Linux 40 workstation. That's crazy. Anyway, this wasn't that long of a video. I installed this to actually do a lot more guides and stuff. I believe the next one I'm going to be doing is how to compile Mesa in case you need to test that with NVK. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. This was Fedora Everything.